answer for more. <clears throat> Cruel vehicle mid range and pioneer. That's right. I hope you guys are excited for it. I know I am. But like I said, my name's Lance. More importantly, my screen name is Major Riot. That's Major underscore Riot underscore. That is my screen name on Twitch, YouTube, MTJ, MTJ, and Twitter. So if you're watching this on Twitch, please start following. If you watch this on YouTube, please start, uh, subscribe. If you're watching this, um, but you can also follow me on Twitter. Um, so that's right. Follow Major Riot on Twitch and Twitter. I'm already subscribed to Major Riot on YouTube for the little cost of free. Don't delay. Do it now for a guaranteed outburst of rage, confusion, even sometimes joy. I always have this disclaimer. I am not responsible for a sun increase in top decking only lands, being wrecked by Ragaman, or being unable to find your sideboard cards. That starts happening to you. None to do with me. But as you can tell, I do enjoy playing Magic the Gathering. I play Magic the Gathering. I prefer to play Modern, but I have been dabbling in the area of Pioneer. Um, so that's pretty exciting, right? And I found this deck, uh, and maybe it found me, this Gruel vehicle, mid-range. Uh, I've really been enjoying it. I think it's pretty damn good, and I'm excited to play more of it. Uh, let's take a look at the weather. It's been really rough out there. Freezing rain, snow, wind. Uh, weather for even no conditions are clouded temperature of 34 degrees. The wind is blowing from the east southeast at four miles per hour, and the humidity is 87%. So there you go. The conditions are improving out there. Um, you know, but it's still pretty rough. Like, I, I got so much cleanup I got to do, but I'm not going to go do it when it's this cold out and probably wait a few days, you know. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's see here. We still have 38 followers on Twitter. We still have 286 followers on Twitch. We're still 476 subscribers on YouTube. So, shout out to all 38 followers on Twitter. Shout out to all 286 followers on Twitch. Shout out to all 476 subscribers on YouTube. And, of course, a massive shout out to all five of my Twitch subscribers give me a little bit of their hard-earned money. It's very trying and dangerous times. I really appreciate it. It's going way above and beyond the Call of Duty. Uh, there's really no reason to spend money here. Um, I really appreciate it. I mean, I, I can't say how much I do appreciate that. Um, you know, I appreciate anybody who watches any of this, but I always have to have a very special thank you to the people who are willing to go above and beyond. And uh, thank you very much. So we're going to play some Gruel Vehicles. Uh, this deck has been really fun. Uh, I've enjoyed it for the most part. Um, you know, I think Werewolf Pack Leader is definitely a stronger card than Scavenging Ooze, even though there will be moments where I'm playing this where I'll really miss Scavenging Ooze. But let's uh, get on in there. I really got nothing else to say other than this is probably maybe one of the last videos of the year. I'm going to be real busy. It's right before Christmas here. Uh, I'm going to be real busy for the holidays, you know, which is good, you know, going out, seeing family and friends. Um, all sorts of fun stuff, you know. That's the baby's first Christmas, you know, my first Christmas as a dad. Um, a lot of fun stuff. So I will be gone for quite a while. And by quite a while, I mean, you know, a week, maybe, maybe a week and a half. All right. Well... Before I even see anything, I do need to reveal the beverage of the day. And folks, it is December. It's still Christmas time. That means we're still festive. And we're still in the theme. We'll probably be in the theme all the way into January. Because I always buy way too much product. Uh, but what am I talking about? I'm talking about this 12-ounce can of Mountain Dew Fruit Quake. That's right. Fruit Quake Mountain Dew is very good. My wife doesn't like it, but I like it a lot. Um, gets you right in the mood. Makes you think about Christmas and Santa Claus. Uh, let's. We all know... So the official start of the video doesn't begin until I crack open my beverage, which is going to happen right now. Oh, yeah. And this is a quality hand. Keep it. Just need an Asika chariot. All righty. Either a mirror match or mono green. Looking like mono green. Anyways, need to stomp that. This is 
going to be tough. Four. Play a love struck here, maybe block that troll. That's bad. That makes it even worse. Oh, yeah. So I put a Karn in there. Um, I really don't have a way to deal with the Cavalier of Thorns and stuff. You know, I mean, this is just a disaster. Cavalier of Thorns is like the best card, I think, against me. Yeah, I really don't want I really don't want to give him Karn. Just a disaster here. Fuck, how? How do they have so many good cards here? Yeah, it's just over. possible here.
Yeah, I don't know how to beat this, you know, once this starts happening, like, you know, what exactly do you need to do? I guess we just need to sit here and do nothing, wait for them to do something. Because they're just going to get Karn. I mean, we're just going to sit here and do nothing. I, I, I don't know how to beat them once they get this way. I don't have enough removal spells and etc. you know. I'm just not really sure what to do. Such a boring match to play, in all honesty. I mean, it really is. I mean, they just go for this. That's all they try to do. All right, that's just enough. I guess we'll make them do their whole fucking combo. Make them waste the clock, right? Yeah, and I should have done that in response. Just concede. I mean, this is just so unfun to play against. This is my least favorite deck that's, you know, kind of seen as, like, that's a normal deck you find in the wild. It's just not fun. It's just you sit there, and they don't even try to attack you with their creatures. It's really bizarre how this shit is in this in this game. You know, they, they literally don't try to do anything. They have these big creatures, yet they don't attack with them. It, it's really strange. You know, I mean, really, all I can do is bring in another Crone War, maybe these Embercleaves to try and be fast or give double strike, you know, but. I would love to keep it just for Damping Sphere. Uh, the Besage is okay, but I just, I can't keep this, you know? I just don't think I can. I'll try it against my better judgment. Maybe it'll work out. Maybe it'll work out. Yeah, it's not working. Well, how did I how did I know, you know?
Yeah, I, I can't beat Cavalier Thorns. I, I really don't know how this deck's supposed to be. I mean, I guess a Crone War would be okay. Look at that, they have black mana. Interesting. I guess that's maybe one way to do it. Crow and War. Does it swing for five? Devotion of four currently. So we got a problem here. I have five mana. I need to play a Seekus Chariot. I guess we can do it, right? No, it's only five mana. Fuck, man. I need to play a Seekus Chariot, but how much devotion do they have right now? Seven? Yeah, it is. Got to do it. Okay, all right. Well, a Crone War wins the day there. Resubmit. Um... I guess we can keep. I'm going to need to stomp on that Monoware Elf or Obliterating Bolt that. That works too. Need a little more red mana. If I knew I was going to draw this, well, no, it worked out fine, I guess. Find another forest. Again, I could use some red mana. It's not red. Uh, 
yeah, just you know, just swing here. Maybe you need Besaju for um, you know Nipkos or whatever it's called. I just don't really know how to beat that except with the Crone War. It's just too powerful. I mean, look what they put in the graveyard. They'll just stack on top, you know? I mean, it's just, how do you stop this? Yeah, it's just not really working right now. Is that even... What, why am I tapping so much? I don't need five mana. <laughs> I need three mana. Wow. Yeah, I don't think I'm winning this one. Yeah, since they have two, it's like impossible. I can't defeat two. Um, because, you know, if it dies, they just get, um... I mean, I guess I could kill one, and then they could stack Karn. Storm the Festival. The problem is, since they're gonna have two, just when you kill the other Cavalier... You know, they just add back. I mean, it's just a disaster. Just a complete disaster here. I don't know how you're supposed to defeat two Cavalier Thorns. I just don't really understand. Like, like, Yeah, storm the festival. Seven, eight. At least it does X out, so I forgot about that, so it's a little bit better. Yeah, I don't know how we beat this. Just, uh, I think I need to concede. I mean, it's just, how do you win? Like, how do you beat them once they do this? You know, I, I just don't really understand. Like, what, what is that needs to be done to defeat them once this happens? I'm not getting enough mana. Um, I 
Why does it say major riot? What the fuck? <laughs> What's happening there? Yeah, it's just hopeless when they have this many Cavalier Thorns. It, it's just, what are you playing for? You can't beat... You can't beat this deck when they do that. You just can't. It's just extremely impossible. Um, it just doesn't matter what I do. Yeah, just concede. I, I don't want to play this anymore. It's just so hopeless. I mean, I don't know how I'm supposed to get through Cavalier Thorns. I, I don't know how. I have no way of destroying the card. I have no card at all in the 75 they can destroy it. All right, guys, I'm going to try this again. Uh, you know, I, uh, I've been having, my area has been affected by a severe winter storm that continues, I guess. Um, there is going to be no match two. You may have noticed the record went to 0-2. Um, I tried to play a second match. Literally, my power and internet went out at turn one. It looked like it was going to be against uh, Mono Red Aggro because the only thing I saw, like the guy played a Mountain and then played a um, the Enchantment Kanzuku or whatever it is, uh, the one that deals one on one, it deals one damage to any target. Um, so we're going to see how this goes. Uh, so Owen two, um, Try this again, all right? <clears throat> so 0-2, going to try one of the last three, and then uh, hopefully my power doesn't go out again. That's like the sixth time it's gone out in the last 24 hours, so we'll see. I just, I've got to get through this one. i got to get through these three matches, and then I can finally be like, okay, I'm good. Because after these, uh, I don't know when I'm going to be back, because it's Christmas. It's Christmas time. But I'm getting tired of these power problems. I mean... I love living in this rural area, but winter time is particularly tough for me. You know, so yes, I had to go first. Uh. <clears throat> I'm gonna mole here. I'm gonna try this again. Uh yeah, I keep here with the second bone crusher on bottom. Start with heart's desire. One, two, three, maybe. Might be a mirror match. No. Steam vents with Gigantha? Don't really know what to make of that. Uh, 
Got a swing for one. Answer. Make disappear. All right. <clears throat> oh, it's going to be some pyromancer nonsense. Only drawing lands right now. Uh, swing for one. Gotta get these pyromancers out of here. Put a mountain in there. Um, I'm gonna try and chariot next turn. Token battles. Man, that is a lot of lands. But look like I can play this one tapped. Chariot. Might be like, is it control? Alright, swing for one. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I shouldn't have swung for one. Nah, it's fine. I'll find another questing. I mean, questing. Another love struck beast. I'm just going to go Heart's Desire, anyways. Oh, great. Well, they're really getting mana screwed, it looks like. That could be good for later. <clears throat> Try this again. Wow. <laughs> that one on the bottom. Put both on? No, one on top, one on bottom. All right, so it's like, is it prowess or something? I'm not sure. Um... All right. What was that? Draw two cards, okay.
Man, I got a lot of mana. Wing for nine. I can turn my own upkeep on in case they don't destroy Crow in War. Then I can crew uh, Seekus Chariot with the Sprite Dragon. Yeah. Wow. Let's see, I need to make sure. That is an incredible amount of land. Um, man, which one do you kill here? Good swing for four. I think I want to kill the Sprite Dragon. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've gotten so many lands. Two, four, six, eight lands out of 14 cards. I mean, I'd like to draw a non-land here. Um, I guess that's technically a non-land. I mean, it's pretty horrible. He's going to keep firing up the, uh, oh, never mind. Incredible level of flooding. I mean, truly an exceptional amount of flooding. Um, there's really nothing I can top deck out of this, right? The five, six, seven, I'd be at three. Yeah, there's just. I, I can't find a way out of this. Just, I died to flood. One more land for good measure. Just, that's incredible. That's so many lands. That's just so many lands. Two, four, six, eight, nine lands out of 16 cards. Truly an incredible level of flooding. I mean, that is disgusting. That is insane, the amount of flood there. That is absolutely insane what you just saw. Um, I like Clothus in this. You know...
maybe a maybe like a Crowan War. I mean, really, everything seems good. I guess, I guess that's all I'm going to do. A lot of, uh, a lot of artifact vehicles. Wow, I'm surprised Mono World survives. Not that it really matters, but yeah, swinging for one. down on the bottom. I don't think the Sage is going to be doing much in this match. Wow, even that resolved fast. Huh. All right. Through those. Swing for four. What is happening with my opponent over there? All right. All right, screw them up. I'm gonna actually get Muta Vault in there. All right, what the hell? Get Muta Vault going. Oh, I forgot to attack with that cat. <laughs> Whoops.
All right. Um, yeah, just resubmit. I, I don't think there's any need to bring an Arlen, right? I don't think so. I guess I could bring in uh, Rending Volley. Yeah, that'd be okay. I mean, I'd have to say I like a Crowan War. Man, it seems really bad. But I'll try it. Especially since I'm on the on the draw now. That seems like that might be good eventually. Wow, I put a Sprite Dragon in the graveyard. Okay. Uh, swing for three. Like Lotus. They mm, didn't like that. For three. Play Chariot. No. These lands are so intense. Uh, swing for three. Have I drawn a non-land yet? Maybe I did one. Maybe I drew a Bone Crusher Giant. But that one on the bottom. Yeah. Of course, the problem with playing that is now they play like a young Pyromancer, and now I'm just in so much trouble because this won't work on the Pyromancer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
see. Add Gigantha. Cry would work against Gigantha, but the Rending Volley won't. But there's Fry. Okay, we're we're making headways here. Yeah. There's a one one. On the bottom. Yeah, this is a problem here is I can't stop the pyromancer with these fries and stuff. This is what I was concerned about. Be a massive lair right now. Probably just gonna die to uh young pyromancer here. I'll be shocked if I can somehow get through this. Oh, this does not work on Gigantha. It's, <laughs> I forgot that when it taps, Man, that's a lot of lands! I forgot when it tapped. So I can make this thing... One, two, three, four, five, six. Let me get a six, six. Fuck yeah, let's go for it. Six, six, motherfucker. Swinging as a six, six. They take it all. How bad is this for me? Do they have, like, game here or something? Like, is it just over? And I just don't realize it yet? It might be. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, that's bad. That's real bad. At least I can fry that. So that's nine damage. They just drew two cards. That's ten damage. All right. Take uh take 10. Well, first things first, I need to play this. I need to go red, green. This can't be countered. So fry that. Heart's Desire. Love Struck Beast. And, uh, kind of right back where we started. Revolted Six. I think the Fire Impulse can target anything, right? No, it's a creature. Yeah, this is really bad.
How many land? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine out of 17 cards. Seems legit. Man, I would have won a long time ago if Clothis would have resolved. I can still get this to attack to make a lair a 1-1. One, one. Oh. Yeah, I should have expected that, honestly. But you can't win when you have this many lands. Probably one more land. Eh. Just stomp. Lair can become a a two two still. All right, that's game. Wow, man, that was a lot of land drawing over the last two games here. Horrible, absolutely horrible. I mean, that is an incredible amount of lands I drew. Like, an exceptionally large amount. Like, you're not going to win when you do that. It's just so bad. It's just so bad. Man, it's so bad. Uh, again, that's a lot, but it is a curve. One, two, three. I think five lands is too many, right? What's going on? Uh... What just happened? Yeah, my uh, MTGO. Wow, what happened there? Uh, I'm going to mole. Yeah, that's a lot better. Uh... Opponent just skips their first turn. Okay. Sure. So there was an error, the MTG said it had an error. You know, MTG goes into two different windows when you start playing a match. Oh. It's this. Uh, swing for one. So there was an error on the other window that wasn't letting me play. That was really weird. A lot of weird shit going on.
Swing for four. Hey, that was wrong. No, I have swamped. Yep. Become a three three, then I can maybe draw a card here. I have fatal push or something. All right, they're at nine. Waiting to see that uh, Mayhem Devil. I'll take it. Was I sacrifice? Mm, probably want to save that for like Mayhem Devil. Uh. All right.
village rights, okay. There we go. Wow, and another one. He's got three cauldron familiars. He's only got one food right now. We'll probably just sacrifice the goblin to the witch's oven. I think I did write notes on this. I think I did. Wow. Take that mayhem, devil. Go try and kill itself. What? Yeah, what the fuck happened? He could have killed his own mayhem devil, but... Whatever.
Wow, he just gives up. I don't know why. There's no reason for that. But he just goes to the whole match. Oh. All right, how about that? Um, sure. That guy was that mad that I took his Rakdos, I mean his uh, Mayhem Devil. All right, well, let's see if I can get a two and three here. I think I did have notes for it. Yes, I did. I did indeed. Indeed. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, it'll be the last match for a while. I don't plan on playing Magic for, I think, the next earliest available day I may have is five days from now. Um, and even on that day, I'm not sure. I may be able to play, you know, two or three times, you know, at best by the end of the year. But uh, this is the last match. Um, for quite some time. Five days is a long time for me. Uh, I'm going to spend time with my family and friends. So this guy's normally plays modern, it looks like. Uh, yeah, we'll keep. Like the Besaju, this is most likely, um, most likely, um, Fires of Invention. All right, I try to start swinging next turn. You like how purple this card is, like being green? Kind of weird.
Yeah, just swing for five here. It's almost a it's almost a full house on the field, but this is a lawn aware of not an Elvish Mystic. To draw two cards here. And see if I need to besage you. The fires of invention here. Mm, cost as far as I mentioned. Maybe you had another one in hand. Wow, okay. All right. So my notes here say one chariot out, one pack leader, one of these, all of these, Ember Cleaves, the one Arlen. This is the one matchup I remember. I was like, oh, this might work. Uh, one Fry. And two Outland Liberators. All right. No, I think I got to mold that. I mean, it, it looks decent, but, you know. I mean, if there was one more land, I would have kept it. Uh, probably not. I mean, I, I can't keep such an awkward thing. If it, if it, again, if this was a stomping ground, I'd keep it. But uh, I, I don't like this hand either. And this hand I can keep. Swing for three and play Outland. Wow. Okay.
Yeah, I mean, that's relatively game over. Hmm. I can make itself become a 5 4 and see if they want to block with Omnath. I guess I may have been stupid. Yeah, I mean, I should have waited a turn. I could have cast Embercleave, maybe. That's just such a disaster here. We swing with both. They put an ember cleave on something. You know, maybe it works. No. Take it all. Go for Yeah, there's no way to win, right? When this dies, there's no land in the graveyard. That's amazing. Um, yeah, putting Ember Cleave on doesn't do anything. I guess just assume a defensive posture. I guess. You can cast two Bone Crusher Giants.
felt that one in my nutsack. All right. Had a mold of five, you know, I mean, it'd be helpful if I didn't have to mold a five. Yeah. Five. Don't. Or do. Probably should have got Mutavolt in before this. That was luck. Aim for five. Crew um. I mean, if he kills this, it's still six. Right? I mean, no, he's going to survive if he can kill anything. Right? If he can ley line binding, you know, mountain plains, forest, island. He's got all of them, right? Yeah, swamp. So, a ley line binding can take whatever. Not really sure what the best answer course is here. Um, you know, Crone War is a nice find. Yes. He has two of these. All right, he's at two. See what he's got. He 
mean, not even Anger of the Gods will do it. You don't even have the right mana for Anger of the Gods. I'm sure there's some he can play. They can kill everything here, but then he's got to worry about Mutavolt firing up. You know. He's just got to have the right cards. This was a lot of damage. That was my turn five. So I was able to get him down to two by turn five. It's pretty fast. Kind of sucks. Um, yeah, we just cast Love Struck Beast. And then through there, fire up Mutable. Wing. He could have two Leyline Bindings. But he doesn't! Alright, well, that's two straight leads that have come all the way back from 03 to get a 2 3. <laughs> like, man, at 1 0 my loss, I, I, I may have been able to win. You know, but I didn't get to play because my internet cut out. So that's back to back 2 3s um, with the deck. Won the losses, you know. Unfortunately, was not due to its own, you know, fault. It was uh, the internet. So nice, uh, nice win there. You know, uh, just uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, this will be the last time you'll see me for a few days. I mean, the the videos will show up on YouTube. But uh, it'll be the last time I make a video for at least five days. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I think this deck is fun. I think it's good. I think it's real good sometimes. Um, I really like it. Uh, maybe I like it more than Rakdos. I don't know. It's close. Because uh, Rakdos does have some sweet stuff happening in it, too. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys had fun. Uh, hope you all have a very, very Merry Christmas. Hope you get a lot of good loot, stuff you want. Hope you spend time with your family and friends. That's more important than anything you get for presents. Uh, but it is nice to get something decent. For me, I just prefer cash and gift cards, McDonald's and Jack in the Box. Those are my favorite gifts. Um, because for me, it's not really about the gifts. It's about spending time with the family and uh, having 11 days off from work. It's 11 days off on the house. And I get paid for 7 the 11. So that's pretty nice. I don't have to use any benefits, nothing. Just an 11-day weekend. It's the best part of the year. Um, it's been a little treacherous so far with the um, with the storms and everything, but um, you know, hopefully uh, those are behind us. I think they said after today that things will be better. So I'm hoping so. Uh, so again, guys, thank you so much for. Handle, hanging out with me, putting up with me, listening to my rants, seeing my terrible misplays, but once in a while seeing a little bit of a, a strike of genius once in a while. Uh, you guys are what really inspire me to continue to play Magic the Gathering online at the pace I do, uh, because I know there's people out there that enjoy my content, enjoy watching my grind, enjoy watching me try and do my best I can. I'm not 
a professional. I'm not somebody, you know, who does this for a living. This is just my hobby that I wanted to share with people many years ago when I decided to start doing this. I honestly should have started doing it like 10 years ago, but I just didn't know the technology. I didn't understand how easy it was to do what I do now. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys, like I said, have a great Christmas. And if I don't see you till after New Year's, I hope you have a happy New Year as well. I think I'll be back before that, though. I should have a day or two where, you know, I'm making content. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Everybody be safe out there. Eat some good food. Drink some good beverages. It's Christmas, for God's sake. Uh, so Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And everybody, please be safe out there. And I uh, hope you get some, maybe you get some good Magic the Gathering loot. I usually get a few packs. I usually get some Magic the Gathering stuff, so I'm excited for that. And uh, yeah, guys, so thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you did watch this on Twitch, please are following. Watch this on YouTube, please are subscribing. If you watch this on uh, anywhere else, you know, do what you got to do. All right, you all follow me on Twitter, but who cares? Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Merry Christmas. And of course, peace!